little boy one walking this way. It's a live pack here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to you. I'm an iPhone team on his day. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'll just cut to the chase. Space Worm. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 15 miles. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain, in worm variant. Base, deep space. Intelligence, have a brain. Behavior, relentless, destructive, and extremely vicious. They'll do anything to cure their unbearable hunger. Lethality. Highly lethal. They never stop eating. Weaknesses. They are intolerant to oxygen. Powers. They have a great size, sharp teeth, an acute sense of smell, and can eat anything edible or inedible. They travel in massive swarms. Eyes, none, hair, none. Origin. One time, Cosmic examined the worm variants and decided to create one herself. Eventually, she used her powers to create a horrific worm variant known as the Space Worms. Due to their lifestyle and hunting strategies, they are also referred to as Cosmic Leeches. Other than consuming flesh, they also swarm onto asteroids and starships, leading to the invention of shielding for countless starships called Space Worm Repellents. Alongside their uncanny hunting skills, the Space Worms can also rival against Sun Snakes, and a few thousand Space Worms are equal to one sun snake in ferocity. Due to being morphodites, space worms reproduce by budding like a fungus. Costume? None. Teams? They travel in swarms of thousands. Order inspiration? Graboids and leeches. Here's the next character. Zound. Real name unknown. Height? 5 feet 10.5 inches, weight 146 pounds, status anti-hero in martial arts instructor, base Mexico Alpha Earth Mobile, intelligence 3.5 brains, behavior, willful and sneaky, she always enjoys doing her job, lethality, extremely deadly to most opponents, weaknesses, she's unable to sense any auditory dangers, powers. She's one of the greatest fighters in the Alpha Earth. She also has high agility, is skilled at hiding, can read lips, and acute remaining senses, thus making her unpredictable. Eyes hazel is brown, hair brownish black and scruffy. Origin. The woman destined to become Zound was a young girl who was born deaf. Due to prejudice, she decided to teach herself to read lips in order to communicate. After being attacked by her ill father, she also decided to learn combat training. By adulthood, she became one of the greatest martial artists in the Alpha Earth, earning the name Zound. After thinking herself unchallengeable, she eventually encountered the blind fighter Sight and learned that she's her rival. Nowadays, Zound would spend some of her time as a new member of the Legion of Alpha Villains. Costume. She dresses in casual clothes. Team solitary with the LAV or others. Order inspiration, DC's Lady Shiva. Here's the last character. Well, characters, if you think about it. Unisisters. Real name, Kara, Lara, and Tara. Height, 200 feet for each. Weight, 10.5 tons for each. Status, Hero in Intergalactic Police Force. Base, Steve's Base Mobile. Intelligence, five brains for each. Behavior, willful and intellectual. They'll do anything to keep the cosmos safe. Lethality, only if you commit any intergalactic crime. Weaknesses, they sometimes have a hard time negotiating with each other. Powers, they have great size and strength. Wields an arsenal of futuristic technology high intellect, and uncanny fighting skills. They live and travel within the intergalactic police ship, which wields a series of plasma cannons, possess an impossibilitator for better travel, has an autopilot, can become imperceptible, and can split into three ships. They also have uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes, deep blue for each. 
hair deep brown with blonde streaks for each. Origin Since there was crime in the universe, there was a trio of defenders known as the Unisisters. Though their backstory is mostly unknown, they are known to keep the cosmos safe from danger. Despite that there's only three of them, they have enough power and tech to make up for it. They're identical triplet sisters with the following names from oldest to youngest. Kara, Lara, and Tara, and they're easily differed with their suit color. One time, the Unisisters tried to stop the visiting Dorella Victors from destroying the solar system, but she launched a cosmic missile in order to destroy their intergalactic police ship. Luckily, they used their Impossibilitator at the last second, thus destroying most of the mortality starship. Unable to complete her scheme, Dorella Victors was banished back to the futuristic dimension, all thanks to the Unisisters. Costume They wear latex suits with colors that identify them, which is the following. White for Kara, green for Lara, and purple for Terra. Team Solitary or with other heroes. Orgel Inspiration, Cosmic Police Forces. Well, those are the three characters, well, five if you think about it, that I'm introducing for this video. I really hope I'm making these work, you know? Like, eventually I'm going to get more business cards for my upcoming booth that I should have for Fanex this year, in August, supposedly, you know? And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. Your choice. You know? Hope you guys have a decent St. Patrick's Day, and... And I really hope that I would have a decent anniversary with Susan this year, since it's our 15th anniversary this month. You know? And until next time, in transmission.